Hey, how's it going, my peeps, geeks, nerds, warriors, gladiators, whatever you want to call it. For the reason I'm saying that today is today we're going to be reviewing a board game made by a local friend here in the city. The game we're going to be playing today and reviewing is called Carthage. It is a deck building arena combat kind of gladiator style game. It's pretty fun. It's based off of a hexagon shaped arena with five different characters. I could compare it to would be like Dominion, kind of battle action, sort of Star Wars epic duels, just like a bunch of other deck building games, sort of like Clank, anything else that you've guys played. Style of building up a deck, but at the same time incorporated, there's combat. So let's open up the box and see what we got. So I forgot to mention one more thing in uh, my intro there. Uh, this game is just in the beta alpha stages. It's just a prototype. It's gonna be launched on Kickstarter on May 17th. And I'm getting the privilege to actually play the game before it gets released. So quick rundown, quick five minute what the game was about sort of thing. And then I'm gonna do a quick review and just to give you a basic idea of what the game is actually about. So once the board game is opened, this is how the game should look once it's fully set up. I'm gonna just quickly run through the basic things. Um, this game is two to five players. There's five different characters. You got the Mermillo, which is the green guy. You got the Red, Red Tyrius. I'm not sure how to pronounce them, but they're pretty much gladiators in a sense. And then you got the Thrashian. And we got the other two, the Demac. Carrier, the Mac Carry, and the Goal. So those are your five characters you got. The action figures or little figurines are still in alpha. They're not produced yet, so they're just little miniatures for now, uh, based on color. Uh, so what we have at the top of the cards, as you can see here, is you have armor, and armor goes from 20 to obviously zero. You start off at 15, and you could get maximum up to 20. And on the right side of the player card, you have what they call in the game favor. And favor is what gets you to buy items. And so you have two slots on your, on your card, which is the player deck and the discard pile. And then on the board itself, you obviously have the hexagon shape in the middle. You have these tokens that help you throughout your battle with your character. So as you're moving through the board, if you step on a token, you automatically activate it. The moment you step off of it, you flip it, and no one else can get it until the next round. The ones of the X's are pillars, so they're just obstacles on the board to move around, and these could be placed anywhere outside of the interior hexagonal shape. The interior hexagon is mostly just for identification of beasts that come in later in the game if you die as well as keeping the attack, the speed boost, the armor, and the favor inside and not on the outside. It's, it's kind of to gear people towards fighting in the middle of the board and not so far running around doing nothing the entire time. So at the top of the board here, what we have is theater cards. And what theater cards are, at the beginning of every round, you flip one over and you put it into the discard pile and there's there's sayings on some of these, like all players immediately immediately gain two favor. So at the beginning of the round, everyone automatically gains two favor, and so on and so forth. There's different types of, I guess you could say, it kind of sets the theme for the battle of the round. And it either gives you boosts or damages you, depending on the theater card that's flipped and how you shuffled, obviously. And then moving on to the south portion of the board, we have the actual action cards, cards that you can buy throughout the favor phase, which is the third phase of the battle. In the corner, you obviously have, shows you how much favor you need to spend on a card, and at the bottom, it obviously shows you attack and movement. And there's different types of cards with slashes, extra markings to show that if you actually hit the guy, you get extra 
favor or you get to kick them back or you get armor or more movement depending if you actually hit the player or not. On the board there's also a few different extra things that you can do as you're playing. Uh, you could buy the initiate token which lets you have Let's, let's you become the starting player basically of the round and that costs one favor and then you have two favor for lobby which is you take one of the theater cards and you place them back on top of the deck of the theater so that basically the same theme is going to be of that battle that's coming up and so what you could also do is you have two two favor to evaluate all five so you discard all five in the shop you put them in the discard pile and you draw up five new ones. And then you also have focus which gets rid of your cards in your discard pile in the player's discard pile and you just get rid of those cards because you basically don't want them. You probably want to just discard the starting cards that you have because each character has his own deck of starting cards marked with a D. Letter of the guy's name basically and those are basically your starter cards obviously as you buy cards more and more the cards are of higher value to give you more favor more movement more armor and more attack damage so we're gonna get into the playing phase of it right now and for the beginning we all start off with five cards in our hand of the basic cards and i'm gonna let you start the opposing player and so you just take a little action figure and you place him anywhere on the exterior ring of the arena along the edge and then the next player does that and so on and so forth depending on how many people you play with so as we have our miniatures placed on the board we flip the theater card and it says all players immediately gain two favors so we add two to our favor and now we move on to our action phase. We draw up our five cards, which we already have done, and we start to play them in turn order. So as an initiating player, you can start, and we perform actions as we play. Dash. So as she landed on the token, she gains one favor, and we don't flip it yet until she gets off. And what I'm going to play is salute, so I gain two more favor. And we just keep on going until we run out, run out of our five cards. And now as the action phase is done, we now go into the favor phase where we get to spend the favor we earned on new items in the shopping list. She was the initiating player, now I get to buy stuff first. So I have five favor, so I get to buy stuff up to five, but we obviously take turns as we buy. So I'm going to buy the backflip. And as you buy a card from the shop, you place it on top of your discard pile and you don't use it until you run out of actual cards. And then you shuffle back your entire discard pile and you place it back on your player deck card. And so now as I bought, we flip on the, up a new card and now the opposing player gets to make its choice. And now as Opposing player has run out of favor, and I have one favor left. I can't buy anything in the shop, and I can't get anything else. So I could, the only thing I could get for one is the initiating token. So I'm gonna start off with the token this time. Now, as we finish the favor phase, we basically start the turn order again. So we pick up our, well, I guess we, we flip up a theater card, and then we pick up our five cards. So the theme for this turn, at the end of actions, the player in the center gains two favor. So at the end of all the actions that we take, at the end of the action phase, the person in the center of the board gets two favor. 
And so obviously, as you keep on going through the game, the theater changes and there's things that you want to go for. And also at the start of the next round, we flip up these tokens in the center of the board as no one was standing on them and we can use them once again. With me now having the initiating token, I'm the one that starts. So I'm going to start playing my action cards. So now since we finally ran out of cards in the player deck section, we are going to take our discard pile that we've been purchasing cards for and stacking up with the cards we've already used. And we're just going to reshuffle them and place them back on the player deck. And this is where things get interesting because you're actually using more powerful cards that you bought and purchased from the store. So the beginning phases are kind of slow starting and Eventually, as you get more powerful cards, things start to take a turn for the worst in the Gladiator Arena. So now in this part of the game, as I destroy the opponent, I play my card do my movement, give two damage. That kills me. And then I move extra three if I wanted to, and I do four damage, and the opponent is basically dead. If you're playing with more people in the game, you have an option to introduce beasts. And what beasts are, are basically different types of animals that enter into the arena to fight the remaining gladiators. So you kind of take, I guess you could say your soul kind of goes into one of these animals, like let's say, or you could even be a desperate fan that joins the battle, or you could be the glorious peacock that helps people out in battle if you ended up making a team. So for now there's no little miniatures for those but you could just throw in your cube or continue using your guy and basically the cards explain what you have as in a movement and you give a favor for your opponent of your choice or you have the desperate fan that moves or attacks once around and then you have the hyena that or at the beginning of this action phase moves to attacks one and moves two so there's different beasts and different ways to change up the game so there you have it that's carthage so let's start off with some of the pros i found for this game the pros of the game are that there's a lot of different unique variations and different play styles for every single time that you play the game when you take the tokens and you switch up the arena it's different every time there's different tokens with multiple uh, variations of one favor to two favor, attack of two, uh, you could place the pillars and columns wherever you want and that's always fun and exciting and changes up the game for everyone and it's, you could make the arenas difficult, you could make them simple and it's, it's great in a way that it always changes strategy and your player position and movement in the game which I really like about that. The other thing I like about the game is the theater cards. The theater cards always switch it up every action, or not every action, but every turn order, I guess. So every time you start a new round in the theater phase, you get a new kind of theme that goes out throughout um, the whole phase turn order part. And that's, that's always an exciting part because you don't know what you're going to get. You might have a card 
that pops up if you have the highest armor you lose two armor all of a sudden and now you're below so that's kind of the exciting part too it's always changing up the game there's multiple cards typically you won't find yourself going through the entire deck that's a great thing because in that case it always keeps on switching and I'm sure if there's any expansions that are ever created in the sense that there will probably be I'm assuming more theater cards which would be a great addition to the game. And yeah the other thing is it's a really fun game it's simple to learn it's easy to play and it's it's not that complex it's honestly just moving some dice you got everything on your player board right in front of you keeping track of everything um, you got miniature figures everything is shown basically it's simple easy for kids to learn it's a quick game depending if you're playing with two people and how you guys approach each other it could take anywhere from I don't know, half an hour to an hour or I mean depending on if everyone's just running around if you're playing with more people four players five players it might take up to hour and a half I don't know depending what moving on to the con side of things minor minor things that kind of just bugged me at first when I started playing but you kind of get the hang of it so in a sense the artwork on the player cards get kind of confusing because they're all the same most of them are black and white and the only difference is the top bar kind of indicates your player's color I mean the sidebar where your favor is is all yellow the armor bar is different and I mean the players faces are different but with for now the miniatures that I have kind of don't match the cards so you kind of get confused at first when you start playing if, let's say you have the red guy and the, the pink or pur purple guy I mean it's kind of hard to tell the difference which guy is which at first but you kind of got to get used to it and I mean the variation of the base starting cards that you have kind of it's hard to notice which one matches which I mean you kind of got to follow the name and that's kind of just one of the little cons I have. It's just a personal preference. So, and the other con I kind of had was when you look at the cards, there's a little white splatter. There's a little white splatter in between the red attack and the blue movement, and that splatter kind of blends into the card artwork itself. And I kind of find it hard sometimes when someone plays this. I kind of get confused what they're doing. It, it just kind of blends into the artwork and it's kind of hard and I think that could be changed in the color scheme of things but it's once again it's a really minor thing once you get used to it it gets better and for the last con that I kind of had was but I'm assuming this will be kind of thought about and more reevaluated in the end is when you're starting to purchase things with your favor and you end up running down to having only one favor left. There is nothing that you can buy with one favor besides the initiate thing where you get the starting token. But if you get multiple people getting to one and everyone's just trading off the initiating token, I mean, you could probably pass it off, but you're just wasting that one favor. And I feel like the one favor gets wasted a lot of. Like you don't get to every, there should be either cards with one favor or some additional thing that you could do with one favor. Other than that, I I can't think of anything else. I mean, the cons are really minor, but the pros, I think the pros are great. And for the way this game is designed, it's, it's, it's good. That is Carthage. The deck building arena combat game. It's easy to learn, it's easy to die, that's the motto. I recommend getting this game, 2 to 5 players, 30 minutes to 60 minutes, ages 13 and up. Don't let kids play this, there's a lot of blood and violence and gore and people are gonna start swearing and cussing and having a great time once they're all trying to kill or beat the shit out of each other. So. I hope you enjoyed that review, I hope you guys check it out, check it out on Kickstarter starting May 17th and definitely look into it, think about purchasing it and it's a great fun game to get, so hope you enjoyed.
Where's my beer?